Driving to cleaner energy, one company is building an electrical truck charging area with a solar farm right here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Mithili Gooby has more on what this project entails and how it would impact our community. We're cleaning up the environment. We're actually taking the first step to remove diesel trucks on the road. The statewide company building this project, Watt EV, saying this will be the first publicly available electrical truck stop here in California. And it's right here in Bakersfield off Highway 65. The CEO, Salim Yusufzadeh, adds that Kern County is the right place to pilot this program. I mean, we were able to, to find a large enough property in a major trucking corridor in California, surrounded by a lot of distribution centers, um, and we can try many different things to test the, the solar generation. And the charging stations won't just be available to Watt EV's truck fleet, but any electrical truck in the area. To those drivers that want to get into electric trucking but don't necessarily have the capital or the know-how, we bridge that gap. So this area right here is where the solar field is going to be. It's going to have panels and a battery storage facility and be about 115 acres. And this area right here is where the truck charging station is going to be at about 10 acres. The company broke ground on the project Thursday morning and says they hope the final project has about 40 charging points for electrical trucks and can charge about 200 trucks a day with a gigawatt of solar energy charging capacity. Next year at this time we'll be standing here for the opening. Uh, for the first phase of this project. One reason the project is important is to help reduce the air pollution locally. One local group says that helps people dealing with respiratory issues. The heavy duty truck industry is very um, dominant here in Kern County. Uh, these uh, diesel trucks emit a lot of emissions like particulate matter, black carbon, NOx, um, and all of these contribute to the to the, the smog that we see here in the county. So definitely a project like this really is, a, like like I said, a step forward in bringing a better air quality um, and, you know, hopefully our residents will be able to see that. In Bakersfield, I'm Maithili Gubbi, 23 ABC, connecting you. And with that push for more electric vehicles in Bakersfield, we were curious about how bad the air quality is in our community. So tonight we're taking a deeper dive into those numbers. According to the website IQ Air, Bakersfield is one of the most polluted cities in the country. In 2020, it ranked number one for annual particle pollution out of 203 metropolitan areas. Bakersfield also ranked number two for 24 hour particle pollution out of 217 metropolitan areas, and it was number three for high ozone days out of 228 areas.